Hello, my name is Seth Norcross. I'm from uh, Joliet, Illinois. So I was born and raised, uh, grew up there for 18 years before I joined the Marine Corps. Uh, but I grew up in a Christian home, uh, good parents, godly parents. Uh, but it was, uh, you know, it was a pretty normal American home. I had a brother and a sister. Uh, and so I grew up really sincere in Christ when I was young. I grew up in a Baptist church uh, just right up the road from where we lived. And uh, my grandfather was a United States Marine, and uh, we were uh, pretty close with him growing up and my dad's side of the family. And so eighth grade, that uh, really planted in my head that I really wanted to be a Marine and uh, really started to take that path and route in my life. So I went to high school, uh, it's because I was homeschooled first through eighth, or kindergarten through eighth grade at my house. And uh, we went to high school as our my siblings, we'd go to high school if we wanted to. And so I went to high school to get a diploma so I could join the Marines. So joined the Marine Corps. Uh, but before that, I started to kind of rebel in my heart, just begin to just kind of get into the uh, party drinking scene just a little bit, just some rebellion and started putting other things before God. So when I joined the Marines, things really begin to accelerate as far as sin. And uh, so growing up is a pretty straight edge Christian home. I didn't get into too much trouble as a kid, but once I got into the military, things really begin to accelerate it. And uh, if you've ever heard the term, you know, sin will take you farther than you could ever believe, uh, that's where it really did. It took me to some really dark places in my heart, uh, things I did I thought I would never do. And so uh, it was 2000 and uh, I joined 2006. And so 2008, I would probably say is when I hit rock bottom. Just got back from a deployment in Iraq uh, and it wasn't necessarily you near know, the things I, I saw over there, but it was just, uh, there was just a lot of underlining things that were going on and it kind of hit a, uh, a climax while I was overseas. And so when I got back, uh, the drinking went from just kind of social drinking to drinking all the time and then even by myself and uh, a degree of depression and just a lot of uh, hatred of um, others. Uh, there was a lot of people I was bitter towards. Uh, bitter towards uh, people we were fighting against overseas, bitter towards people even back home. Um, I was bitter, I was angry at myself, hated who I was becoming. And uh, this whole time though, I had Christian on my dog tags because I grew up, you know, yeah, I knew Jesus was real. I knew he died on the cross and I was, was religious in a form where like, yeah, I want to serve God. Uh, but my, my actions were, were uh, completely reflecting something different. So I was uh, really lost in my heart and in my life and I had Christian on my dog tags told my other Marines that I was a believer in Jesus Christ but there's this huge disconnect so when I got back from my deployment our orders changed and went to a new unit that's how I ended up in Jacksonville North Carolina and the first month I was here in Jacksonville I met a Navy corpsman named Andy Messini who was a born-again Christian and Andy uh, through a mutual friend invited me or met me invited me out to church and I went to church with him and we developed a friendship and uh, just because the unit I was in and with training I was in and out of training and in and out of church but the process of time of being around Andy and being uh, in church in Bible studies and things of that nature um, God began to show who I really was and so I always thought I was a good person that I was a good American boy fighting for my country that you know, my, I knew I had issues, but I didn't think they were that bad compared to other people. So what God was doing, what the gospel was doing in, in Andy's lives and many others that really were living for Jesus really kind of pulled out my heart and showed me who I really was. And uh, I uh, was pretty uh, uh, um, heartbroken, I should say, just, just, a, just the wickedness of my own heart. But because God revealed that, it showed me how sweet the gospel was and that it blew my mind, really blew my mind that Jesus would die for somebody like me and so I repented of my sins gave my life to Jesus Christ and it was just like a, an immediate turn in my heart and in my life just real changes that were evident and I mean the drinking almost stopped immediately the cussing and cursing stopped immediately just the, the seed of hope was birthed in my life where I was like man God you can use my life there is hope for my life it was just real like the, the, you hear you know Jesus rose from the grave he's alive and it was so foreign that concept was foreign but then when I, I got saved, it's like, no, Jesus is alive and he's inside of me. And it was just, it was amazing uh, what Jesus did. And it, it seems like yesterday, but that was over almost 10 years ago. And uh, today I'm pastoring. I'm a pastor in the city of uh, Joliet, my hometown. Uh, my wife and I got married in 2012. We pastored in Raleigh, North Carolina for six years. And then this past year, 
we went home to Joliet to start a church. And uh, I really would encourage any and all, uh, if you watch this video, listen, Jesus is alive and he saves. And if he could save a religious uh, Midwestern boy like me who just, uh, just was living for self, was in sin, uh, man, Jesus can save your life. And I mean it, he's alive. And because he's alive, he can bring life to you. And I really would encourage you uh, uh, just to give your life to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. Don't wait. Tomorrow's really not promised. You have no idea when Jesus is coming back or when your day's up. So give your life to Jesus. I appreciate you uh, listening to my testimony, and I hope to hear back from you. My name is Seth Norcross. I pastor at the Door Christian Center in Joliet, Illinois. My phone number is 815-557-8923.